Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be taking a little trip down memory lane back to the 1970s. Um, now when I was a very very small boy, obsessed with electronics at primary school, um, a girl I used to play with, she introduced me to a friend of her dad's and he was big, big into electronics. Now I don't think he actually worked as an electronics engineer, um, he worked in a factory making brake pads, um, he was just a hobbyist. But uh, anyway, over the years I got friendly with him and I used to go round to his house and uh, when he wasn't looking after his elderly mother, he was always building electronic projects in his bedroom and um, over the years we became very, very friendly. Um, I used to go round every night to watch him building these projects and I'm sure I went round that much in the end that he got sick of me. But uh, anyway, over the years he handed me down um, a few bits and pieces that he's made. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at one of the projects that he made in the 1970s. He handed it down to me and I actually used this right through um, even when I opened my first shop in 85 I was still using the same piece of equipment. Uh, but at the moment it's been standing redundant for many many years now. Um, I've had a look through all this stuff I managed to find it so um, let's stop the camera and just take a quick look at it right so I've dug out this old photograph of my um, workshop that my dad made me in the um, one of the attic rooms of our house um, this is dating from about 1978-1979 and what we're going to be looking at is this here um, it's a piece of equipment it's called test master and it appeared in the practical wireless 1971 edition um, now just before we go um, I'll just tell you one other thing um, if you see this equipment all in the background um, you might be interested to know that I've still got all of these uh, apart from the oscilloscope there and the little heath kit, I don't have that anymore and I don't have that anymore. Uh, but the soldering gun, um, the power supply, the equipment I built myself, the meter, um, I've still got all that. So, um, and that there is a, a GC valve TV in case you're wondering. So, right, let's stop the camera and we'll take a look at this piece of equipment in question. Right, so here it is everybody, data from 1971, this is the Practical Wireless Test Master, and um, as it happens, I even got the magazine um, that, that he actually made it from. Um, let's uh, take a look, let's zoom in, um, that's the magazine there, February 1971. I've made some markings on the page um, it, it actually ran over quite a few pages um, that's one page that's two pages um, that's the that's the last page and you can see where he's ticked off all the different components used um, I've got the back off so we'll take a quick look inside now the, the sockets on the back there I actually added them um, as a boy to make it a bit more usable so I could test transistors with flying leads so there we go that's the inside um, it ran off a PP9 battery that's my writing in there and um, as you can see most of it has been built with second hand parts which is what he did. He used to take um, parts off old radios and things and um, put them into drawers and reuse them all. So uh, I guess looking back now this is why I build a lot of things myself because um, probably it all started from me watching somebody somebody else building their own equipment so there we go a very interesting thing um, more than 50 years old it's 
very dirty now because it's been standing unused for a long time. There we go, the practical wireless Testmaster from 1971. So yeah, okay guys, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got that much stuff in here, I could make a video every day. Um,